Well, there was Willem and Margaret and Joe that we've worked with before. But yeah, Mamadou and Hong, Hunter. And that upstart, Jesse. Yeah, and that upstart, Jesse. Oh, it feels it's like... has got a I've bright future. Jesse I know. Before, in a Jesse way. Is so... Yeah, it, it feels like... And we're making another one. So, yeah, yeah it feels like we've worked with Jesse <laughs> before. It took them a minute, but then, you know, when we started rehearsing and them seeing the bond that the rest of us had and how we worked, you know, they were quick to trust that and get into it. And they got very early excited, I think, in, you know, what the process was and how this is a very differently structured film and how it demands different things from them. But for me, also the first thing I told everybody, I was like, I have this idea. I want you to play different parts in these different stories, but it shouldn't be a showcase of disguising an actor and not recognize them because that beats the point of, you know, casting the same actors, which I think what brings to the movie is like some kind of continuity and consistency from one story to the next, although it's not literal and the characters do not have any connection to one another, but it's still as a viewer, you kind of bring things from one story to the next. And when it's the same actor, you've acquired some kind of familiarity with them, so you can't help but carry with you uh, something from what you saw before. So, yeah, it was about like those light, subtle changes and more in appearance and energy and pace rather than making these huge, impressive disguises for actors to appear as as someone totally different. It wasn't impressive at all. That was was the whole idea. Yeah. (laughs) Emma, did it feel like you're in a different space psychologically from the two collaborations that you've had together to something maybe in Yorgos's earlier work? I think that was just the most exciting part of it because I hadn't done anything that he had written or written with the theme as so, because that was all the work except that I saw. Bleed. Well, except for Bleed, but that's a different, you know what I mean? Long except form. nobody has seen There it. was no dialogue <laughs> and nobody has ever seen it. Yeah, no, it was amazing because that was, you know, obviously all there was to see of your work before we started working together. So it was it was really exciting. While in Cannes, I heard Andrea Arnold speak the other day about her collaboration with her director of photography, Bobby Ryan, and she said that they don't need to basically say any sentences to each other anymore. They just kind of know what page they're on. What is your communication like together when you are collaborating in this way? What do you think? You go ahead. You go. You go. You go. You go. This is what we do all This is what it's this like. This is the communication. You go, you do it, you say it, you do it. It's very helpful to not have to go into great lengths to explain what it is you're after. Sometimes we don't even know exactly what it is, so we just have to keep trying things, just agree on that this is not there yet or whatever, or we're happy with it, or we don't know and we'll figure it out later. And that's not always easy to do if you're insecure about something or the relationship is not at a place where you feel comfortable to do that and be, you know, show you all your vulnerabilities and all these kind of things. So I think that's helpful and it takes us further. Killing of a Sacred Deer, I will be honest, was my favorite beforehand. And I rewatched it before coming here. And I noticed a lot of different moments in each story that felt to me like direct nods to that movie. Whoever I work with, write with, you know, we always try and go a step further every time we make something. So this script we were writing with, with the Themis for many years, basically right after we finished The Killing of a Sacred Deer. We're very close, we're very good friends. So as soon as we finish something, then we start, you know, talking to each other about writing something new. And so it has been a very long process. So I think that benefited what the final you know, script was in the final film. And it took place during, you know, the favor and during important things. So I think, you know, there's a dialogue between, you know, all of it and that leads you to somewhere new, hopefully. If you're programming a double feature and if you're saying watch this next, is the movie different for each part? Or is there just one kind of, all right, watch this one movie after all of Kind of Kindness? You should talk about other movies. (laughs) You're such a cinephile. You've watched so many films. You should. I've watched should, a pretty okay amount of films. You should uh, sir. tell the people what they should watch. I can you can you do some of these? Help me, help me, Rhonda. What's the first one, and then watch King of Comedy. That works. It's not King of Comedy. That's King. crazy. That's crazy. That's not right. See, she doesn't agree. No, there's because I think about that for other things. What about watch the first one, then watch Mikey and Nikki? <laughs> I think that about other things. <laughs> watch the first one, then watch Kiara Stami's close-up. 
Great. Just because it's one of your favorite. Just because it's ever. one of my favorite That's movies. Nice. And then watch the second one and watch Fury to the Soul. Great. Another favorite. And then watch the third one and watch Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Yeah. Sold. I'm easy. just saying a bunch of my favorites. <laughs> that's, that's all we need. <laughs> that is all we need. And the thing, just to find something that's a little bit more related, I guess, watch Phantom of Liberty, Buñuel's Phantom of Liberty, oh, yeah, which yeah. is like a, another true. film with many different parts. And mm -hmm. You know, it was an example when we decided that we want to make it more than one story. You know, we did mention Phantom of Liberty. It's one of my favorite films. Me too. As cinephiles as well, do you have other movies that you love, it doesn't have to be related to Kinds of Kindness, that do have that kind of like satellite narrative where there's a bunch of different things coming on. Shortcuts. Oh yeah, shortcuts. Yeah. Storytelling. I... Todd Solon's storytelling and also Wiener Dog, the later one. Happiness. 